Hi, thanks for joining us again. My name is Monique Mitas with the Queen of Keys team at Street City Realty. Welcome to another episode of Peeling Back Orangeville. Today we're standing out in front of Noble Toys and we're gonna go meet Dave Noble, co-owner. Let's see what they've got. Hey, welcome guys. I'm Dave Noble, co-owner of Noble Toys Jr. Uh, we're located at 51 Town Line here in beautiful Orangeville. People often ask me, how did we get to Noble Toys Jr.? Well, it goes back a little ways. My brother, Derek Noble, he's uh, the owner of Noble Toys in Bolton. And, uh, you know, he was just lifelong passion of his is toys. So he just loved toys. He had so many, such a big collection of toys, everything from Star Wars to whatever. And uh, he decided one day just to leave his nine to five and open up a store in Bolton. He took a shot. It was a small little uh, place. Uh, it was a hit right away. So you know what? Fast forward to today and here we have Junior. He said, let's do this. And I said, let's do it. So here at Noble Toys, just a little something for everyone start off right off the bat with our Funko Pops. Our Funko Pops are probably our most popular item. Um, just our, our section is getting bigger and bigger every week. Uh, we've also got Pokemon. We've got Pokemon everywhere actually. Uh, another hit is the Pokemon stuff for sure. Um, we've also got Diecast. Our Diecast wall is just growing exponentially. It's it's every week I try to bring something a little new for the guys and we have a lot of regulars who come in here now. Uh, we have also squishy toys, we have puzzles, we have games, we have uh, oh geez, figures, we have Star Wars characters, comics, records, uh, just to name a few things. So we're going to expand. Uh, we have a video game section is relatively new. We're just expanding now, uh, bringing in vintage games, new games, uh, consignment games. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of everything, and that's something to watch for uh, in a very, very near future. We're setting that, floor up, uh, that section up right now as we speak. So a large part of our business is actually consignment. Uh, we like to work with the people in the neighborhood to try to bring in some items, uh, stuff that's you know, gently used, uh, gently, you know, previously loved, I guess you'd call it. And uh, we work with them to try to get the best price for them. And we both make a little money. And we're both happy at the end of the day. Well, I'm relatively new to Orangeville, but one of my favorite places that I recently found is Deja Vu Restaurant. Man, I just love that place. I can't get enough of it. My brother and I go there sometimes for breakfast or lunch, and I think they're fantastic. It's important to shop local for a variety of reasons. One is it brings awareness to the community. It's also an opportunity for our community to grow. Uh, you know, to we don't have to shop at uh, other places because we'll have it all here inside of our community. It also helps. Um, what we're trying to do is actually uh, do some local charities and stuff to bring more awareness into the community. And we want the, the community to grow. We welcome uh, that growth for sure. So don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We post new stuff daily. There's a lot to look at. So if you can't make it down to the store, make sure you follow us so you can see what's going on on a daily basis. So thank you for watching and come on down to Noble Toys at 51 Town Line in Orangeville. There's something here for everybody. I'm sure you're gonna love the place. Just make sure you have enough time. You're gonna wanna spend some time here. Wow, that was awesome. They have so much to offer. Thanks for joining us today for yet another episode of Feeling Back Orangeville. See you next time.